Hey beautiful people, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, you, would you believe me if I said my makeup costs 98 cents? Hey, get a filter because I look gross right now. Anyway, so I'm hopping on here to tell you because clearly I cannot read. <laughs> so the prices of the items are either 97 cents or $1.97. Okay, enjoy the video. You're shook, aren't you? I bet you are. <laughs> so they had makeup products ranging from 97 cents to $1.97. That's talking about mascaras, eyeliner, eyeshadow, highlight, everything. Everything that you need to complete an everyday makeup routine they have for super cheap. So I picked up products that I use for my everyday makeup routine and I demoed them and showed you swatches. That's why my hand looks a little crazy <laughs> if you've seen it. So you want to figure out which products in this line are a hit and which products are a miss? Then stay tuned. So as you can see, I already have on my foundation and my concealer. From what I could see in studio does not offer any types of foundations or concealers or any type of skincare products like that. But to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't try them out because my middle name should probably be Sensitive Skin Sally because I break out so easy. I would have probably just steered clear from those products. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing my full face makeup, but I'm gonna be using products from the In Studio Cosmetics line. As I use the product, I will tell you how much it costs and I will do swatches and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. First off, let's go ahead and start with eyeshadow so eyeshadow they had a nice range of shades now keep in mind they do each come in these little single shades and they are all 98 cents you heard that right an eyeshadow pigment for 98 cents so i picked up four shades i picked up a crease color a lid color a highlight color and just another one to play around with and they actually had a nice range of colors to choose from they had some shimmery shades they had some darker shades and some colorful shades i don't know if i just could not see but i couldn't find names so maybe they're actually on the pack itself but i'm one who especially when i'm doing these makeup tutorials i like to give you names of what the shades are and so i mean if it doesn't have a name that's okay I'll go ahead and start off with the crease color that i picked out things are kind of hard to get out of the packaging Okay, good. So there are names on the back. You can tell packaging wise, it is a little bit cheap. It does ASMR. <laughs> packaging wise, it doesn't feel the most high quality, but also it doesn't feel like the worst quality I've ever held in my hand. This one is in the shade T. So we're gonna figure out the T on if these shadows work. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So dipping my finger in it, it is very powdery. Oh, there's a swatch. There's a second one. So they are buildable from what I can see. On the display, they actually told you which shades were good for your lid, which shades were good for your crease, which shades were good as a highlighting shade. So I thought that was pretty cool. Shade T was definitely blendable. It blended really nicely and was buildable. I So they actually do have shades on the bottom of the pack. I was probably looking for at least 10 minutes, maybe not 10, maybe I exaggerated a bit, but I was looking for quite a while for where the shade was, but it's on the bottom of the pack. The lid color that I'm gonna be using is called Spark. And it looks like this. This is one of the more shimmery colors. Cleaned off my finger, by the way. Shades right here. So not as pigmented as I thought it would be. That's with two. Definitely super buildable, which I prefer that. Like as long as they do build up, then I like it. it has a good color payoff. It's just, if you wanna get this exact shade, you're gonna have to build up to it. <laughs> You definitely get the hints of shimmer, 
but I'm a little bit disappointed with the color payoff because here is what it looks like in the pot and I feel like it's a little bit lighter than I expected. I don't know, but it kind of blends into my crease color an awful lot. You know me, you know I love to put pops of color underneath my bottom waterline. And they had a pretty good selection of colors. So I went ahead and I went for this purple color. This one is called Rebel. And it looks like this. Let's go ahead and swatch that. So this one definitely, well, I don't know. It looks darker on my finger, but then swatching it, it blends out to a nice, more calm purple. Like swatching it, you think, oh my goodness, you are going to look like you got punched in the eye. But then swatching it, it's the swatches right there, by the way. It's not as dark. Three shades in, I think it is definitely safe to say that the color payoff on these shades are lighter than they come across in their pots which if you're like me, I would prefer that because I like building up on my shades. But if you're one that does like more intense colors, you may not prefer these. Clean off that shadow brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dip in there. And then I'm just gonna put some underneath my bottom waterline. There definitely is a little bit of fallout, so just keep that in mind. I'm pretty impressed with the pigmentation on these. I mean, for what you get, 98 cents, I was expecting to have no pigment at all, like kind of like kids makeup, but this is pretty good. There is one thing that I wish they would do, but I'm not like knocking the brand or anything. I wish that these little guys connected. I realize that they're round, so that would be more difficult, but I just wish these connected because these are gonna be a little bit more harder to store, especially since I normally just get bigger palettes. These would be perfect for on the go, for just some little touch-ups here and there. You could stick these in your purse. I mean, they're pretty little and lightweight. Hold up, <laughs> before we go to the next thing, I completely forgot that I picked up a highlight color for underneath the brow bone. This one is in the shade Toasted Marshmallow, and it is just your basic neutral type of color. Might not even show up on my pale skin, right? there <laughs> it blends into my skin color basically if you just look at my skin color it's that color <laughs> you guys i miss my summer tan it'll be tanning season in a few months <laughs> i'm so excited i'm over being <laughs> pale but it's cold so if i would slap on some fake tan realistically it would be like we know you fake tan because it's only like 30, 40 degrees. <laughs> so there's no way I could have gotten that dark, you know, that quick. Anyway, I'm gonna take this brush right here, dip into that and put some underneath my eyebrow. Yeah, that didn't really do much. But if you were a more tan person, then this would be a good shade to highlight underneath your brow bone. But if you're pale like me, you might need to get a darker shade. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara. Now, these two guys, they're not humans. These two items actually cost $1.97, so they are a dollar more, which to me, I think is still a amazing price. Mascara to me, I think is just so overpriced. So to get a mascara for $1.97, that's good. But we don't know if it's gonna be good or not, so. Let me hold my thought. <laughs> this one's the mascara, and then this one is the eyeliner. They had the regular felt tip eyeliner, which I love to use, and then they also had the little pot, and then with the paint brush, and you paint on your wing. I personally don't like that type. Can't remember if they had a pencil type. I don't think they did. But here is what the felt tip looks like. <laughs> Right off, I noticed that the eyeliner kind of hurts to put it on. It does tug whenever you put it on, so that is kind of a, it is painful, so <laughs> I will fix that. But it's just, it's hurting. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other eye. Here is the eyeliner. Um, I know it's not perfect. Did good on the wing. I will say that it have a nice point to actually do the wing, 
but to do the just regular eyeliner it hurt so bad it was pulling a lot putting it on as you can see it's not very black i definitely will not be repurchasing the eyeliner again there are cheap alternatives out there for eyeliner i've talked about a few in the past but this is just not it next step is mascara and this one is in black and the mascara costs a dollar and 97 cents so really cheap for a mascara we all know i just can't stand paying full price for a mascara it irks me <laughs> here's what the mascara looks like and here's the wand the wand is so small i was not expecting that but well, here is the wand smell test random I don't smell anything weird. Trust me, you guys. There are some funky smelling mascaras out there. <laughs> Verdict on the mascara. It was very time consuming having just this little of a brush. You could only coat like three eyelashes at a time. So I personally don't like that. I don't know. Is it the most lengthening mascara? No, but is it the worst mascara? No. I would say this mascara works better for your bottom eyelashes. I think it coated them really nicely and I like how they look. The top eyelashes though, mm, not really a fan of. I will say that as applying this, see, brush is so small it gets dry really quick so you have to keep dipping in to get product the question is would i repurchase this mascara again no here's what i'm thinking about this first of all you don't get very much product in here and for as many times as i had to keep dipping in it it's really not worth the price you're better off spending a little bit more on a mascara because then you only have to dip in there once or twice coat your eyelashes and you're done this i had to dip in like so many times don't even know how many although like i mentioned earlier with the eyeshadows i said the eyeshadows would be good to stick in your purse for touch-ups i think this mascara would be great for touch-ups okay next up is bronzer let's make this face and not so pasty <laughs> how they close these packaging is they have those little glue tabs so it is sticking to this lid so that's why it's so hard to get out here's what the bronzer looks like size comparison between oh my gosh <laughs> hold on size comparison between the eyeshadow and then the bronzer Here's what they look like. Bronzer shade that I picked up is in the shade Miami. So I better be looking like I just went to Miami and got my tan on. <laughs> I'm gonna take my contouring brush, dip in there, fish it out. <laughs> Do we think that darkened up my face a little bit? Do I look, do I look not so much like a ghost? I don't know. Oh, I completely, my bad. I completely forgot to swatch this. The bronzer is actually right there. So there's the bronzer right there. That is no hope in making me look tan. It might be a good shade to contour my nose with though. Just don't go. It's a pretty good color to contour your nose with. It did kind of put some color into my nose, but did it really put any color into my skin? Not so much. Maybe I should have gotten a darker shade. Like I keep saying and keep stressing, these shades run lighter than they look in the pot. So keep that in mind, especially for a bronzer. Maybe go one shade darker than what you think would work. Maybe, question mark. Would I repurchase it again? Miami was the lightest bronzing shade that I seen, but I think I'm gonna get a next shade darker because this just doesn't do it for me. Bronzer was only 97 cents, so are you really out much? No, because you can use this for other purposes and it won't break your bank to go get a different shade. Next up is blush. Maybe this will help darken me up a bit. Size comparison blush bronzer they're the exact same size they had to put the glue tab right where i need to open that so here's what it looks like i am running out of swatch room so there is the blush right there so i think this gave us the best pigment payoff let's go ahead and go in for a second 
swatch. So yeah, I'm gonna take this brush right here and dip that in. <laughs> I look like a clown. You guys, little goes a long way. That was even a little. Clown tech. That's from TikTok, by the way. The blush is so pigmented. I love it. I mean, I don't love that it did this. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wanted my skin to look darker, but not like this. <laughs> I did too much. So, <laughs> lesson learned. Little goes a long way. I mean, this is blending down nicely. Would I repurchase this blush again? Heck yes. I would definitely. <laughs> Got me some rosy looking cheeks right there. I'm so used to having to build up on this stuff. I expected to do the same with this, but no. Little goes a long way. So this blush, this is in the shade Dusk. Definitely will repurchase this again. Next step is the highlighter. The highlighter better be this pigmented because we all know. I love to glow. So here's the highlighter. Here's the blush and here's the bronzer. They are all the exact same size. The highlighter I got is in Champagne Glow. Ooh, look at that. It's right there. I mean, I prefer my highlights to be a little bit more on the white or pinky side, but hey, if this is gonna make me glow, then I love that. So I'm gonna dip in with my highlight brush, put some on the tip of my nose. Ooh, look at that. I'm happy. <laughs> I am so excited. Highlight has my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little brush, dip in, and do my inner corner. I love this. This is my favorite thing. Guess what the price was? 97 cents. Now the moment of truth, highlighting the cheekbones. Dip in there. Do we see that glow? Love it. Now, in Studio Cosmetics, they offered three different types of lip products. They offered lip gloss, lipsticks, and matte lip creams. So I picked up a lipstick and then a matte lip cream. They sadly did not have any lip liners. The lipstick was 97 cents. And this one is in the shade Blossom. There's what that looks like. Pretty good pigmentation for a lipstick. Let's see how it feels. But I really like this color. It's a nice pink shade. Actually feels quite moist, so that's good. It's not one of those drying lipsticks because personally, I'm not a lipstick fan because they can be so drying to the lips. So to top this off, I'm gonna be taking the matte lip cream and this was only 97 cents. Smell wise, it doesn't have a smell. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going all over the place. This is in the shade Flirty. There's the swatch. One swatch, folks. Didn't even take me two strokes on that one. It feels like a moisture matte lip, if that makes any sense. Yes, it has its hint of stickiness, which I think is pretty typical, but I feel like this is going to stay on. This is the completed look, folks. Get a full face makeup look for only $12.67. Some of the products I will say you do get what you pay for, but like this blush and highlighter and these lips, I think is pretty good for 97 cents. You guys, that's even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. <laughs> scandal. <laughs> just to kind of review what we just talked about, the, the eyeshadows, I would definitely repurchase them again. Would I use them as an everyday use? Probably not, but these are a perfect size to keep in your purse for a touch-up. Just find a color that you use in your big palette and then <laughs> just put those in your purse. Did I break this? We're good. We didn't break it. <laughs> They have a pretty good shade of colors. I would say they do lack a little bit on the pink shades for a pink lover like myself, but they do have a good range of neutral smoky colors and fun colors as well. The highlighter definitely will be repurchasing the blush. I don't use blush every day, don't worry, but it is one that I would definitely recommend. I would just tell people, go light-handed. Don't do what Carrie did, because you will look like a clown. <laughs> the bronzer. 
I think is good for nose contouring, but for actually contouring the skin, I think I just need a darker shade. For bronzer, I think I would just stick with what I normally use, but for 98 cents, I think it's definitely worth trying out. The lip products, I think you will love 98 cents, can't go wrong. And then last but not least, the two products that were $1.97, the mascara and the eyeliner, these are really the only two items that I will not be repurchasing again. The mascara pulled and tugged and was super painful to put on, but did give a good wing. And then the mascara brush was just too small and I like to just do one big sweep. And it was annoying to have to keep dipping in and coating my eyelashes, but I will say that the mascara did do good for my bottom eyelashes. Did I mention everything? I think I did. In studio, cosmetics, makeup review. You can get these products at Walmart. That is where I found mine. They had a huge display. So that completes this video. If you liked it, make sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you will not miss out whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow all my other social media links, which are linked down below in the description box, like always. And don't forget to make sure that you are registered to vote come November. If you need any help or have any questions on that, make sure to hit the link in my description box. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And until next time, always remember to pray slay and conquer the day love you conquer the day with your 97 cent makeup hey we love a good deal <laughs> bye